I want to talk to you guys a bit more about the scientific basis for remembering things before you were born. I do believe this is an extremely important topic, and even if it doesn't mean reincarnation, it's extraordinarily cool. Transgenerational stress is a very real thing. If your grandparents were exposed to severe trauma or starvation, it can impact your mental health. Severely. And yeah, that does kind of mean that you have to go to therapy for your problems, but also kind of your grandmother's problems. Our genetics is memory. And that's not just because those who survived from the past had the right genes, but because we can also have epigenetic changes that are supposed to help our offspring survive. If you're going through a great deal of stress or starvation, you might want grandchildren that are capable of surviving that starvation. And unfortunately, that might mean having anxiety because you had to survive. So you want to have offspring that are better suited. And we see that with the mice. We see that their offspring for multiple generations are afraid of something that they were shocked in the presence of, in this case, lavender. After all that time, they know to be fearful of it. But that stress can also destroy you. Not everyone can bounce back from traumatic situations. And that's why it's so important to understand the mechanisms behind it. In this case, we're talking about epigenetics. Epigenetics is everything that isn't directly coded by your DNA. Most of us do know from high school biology that RNA codes for proteins. But it can also have a bunch of other jobs in the body. It can bind to DNA and keep it from ever being expressed. It can also bind to RNA and prevent it from actually coding for a protein. While we don't entirely understand the mechanism to just yet, we've already begun to use them because this is the same principle behind CRISPR, binding to certain sections of DNA and maybe cutting it out and maybe putting something else in. Honestly, I just want someone to figure out how to cure me of anxiety. Back to the topic at hand. So is it possible that you could have the memories of your great, great, great grandparents? Yeah, it's possible. Anything is possible, but we haven't found evidence for it. We have found evidence for certain kinds of memories. And I think that is really important too. 